Hello, I'm Sally, I'm from Plush Folly and today I'm going to teach you how to make a range of cosmetics from home. We have lots of lovely ingredients here and I'm going to use them to make bath salts. The salt I'm using is coarse sea salt, the type that you would put into a grinder in order to uh, make it slightly finer to put on your food. That's the type that's going to go into our bath as well. Although there are many different types of salts available. You could use dead sea salt. I'm going to put round about 400 grams in here because I want to fill my jar and salt is quite heavy. So 400 might sound a lot, but actually it's not. 420. Now we have a problem if we want to use salt with a smell. And I've got some rose fragrance oil here. Because if I put the fragrance oil straight into my salt, the salt will work hard to try and deodorize it because salt is a natural deodorizer. So I'm going to sh show you a nifty little trick. My little bowl here contains something called tapioca starch. And tapioca starch will hold on to my smell. So if I pour my rose oil into my tapioca starch, and then give it a good stir around. That will save the salt from trying to deodorize my rose oil. So now I'm going to add this to my salt and stir it well so that it mingles in between all those lovely crystals of salt. And the smell is lovely. The rose fragrance oil is one of my favorite smells. There we are. You can't notice the tapioca starch, but you'll be able to notice the smell for a lot longer than you would if I hadn't used the tapioca starch. Well, that's fine. That would make a nice bath salt. But what I'm going to do is to make it slightly more special. And I'm going to put some rose petals in there. I've got some dried rose petals and I'm just going to sprinkle it into my salt. Stir it around. I think that's plenty. And now the fun part of getting it into the container. Now salt is a natural preservative. So this product has a very long shelf life. And to use it, I would run your bath. And actually I would then climb into the bath and sprinkle the salt on top. If you put the salt in first and then try and sit down, you might find it's a little crunchy. And perhaps not very comfortable. Beautiful. And that's how to make a natural bath salt.